friends editing Kim popping on really quick because the intro of this vlog accidentally got either corrupted or deleted I don't know exactly what happened to it but it is gone and so if you are new here my name is Kim this year I'll be teaching second grade in West Michigan and if you are not already following along with my channel I would love for you to take a moment to subscribe below turn on that post notification bell so you're notified every time I post a new video and then follow along with all of my social media accounts I am elementary them in basically everywhere so I'd love for you to join me on my teaching journey and I believe this was day seven I want to say of classroom setup and at the beginning of the vlog I was thinking it would probably be my last day but I will likely have one more day of setup after this vlog so anyways let's go ahead and hop into it so here we go Okay, so one of the many things that we want to do today is finish, or at least start, <laughs> my door decorating. You can see across the hall, we all decorate our doors, and there's like a different theme every year, and so yes, yeah, so we are going to work on decorating my door so we can get that done. And then my mom went to our storage unit and she brought all of my classroom stuff in on her own, which was pretty wild. So now I just have all of this stuff, like, everywhere and so my couch is here which we still don't even know if we can use couches but that's okay I figure if we can't use it we can always put it back in storage but we're gonna set it up and just see how it goes and then I have about a gazillion different containers just like everywhere so ignore the mess you know don't mind it it'll be gone eventually but this is what the room is currently looking like so I basically just have stuff everywhere <laughs> and that's okay but I just have so many like little projects going on right now as you can see and if you followed along with any of my classroom setup vlogs you know that i am notorious for starting about a gazillion projects and finishing none of them so this is exhibit a of what that's looking like today we did bring my stage in the other day which is very exciting it got moved to the library so we had to move it back over here and so now i have my stage which is so fun a long to-do list up there <laughs> and even you know that is not it's not definitive of all of the things that I need to do because there's just so many things I need to do, but there are some things on there. I sealed the bookshelf this morning, this one over here. So I had the fan going. I just turned it off so you wouldn't hear that in the background, but I think it's probably mostly dry because I did that several hours ago now. Let me feel it. Oh yeah, it's definitely dry. So I should be able to put books on there, which is very exciting. So I can't wait to see what that's gonna look like. So bookshelf over there and then this is new. I had these little leaves from Michael's that I got on clearance for 70% off and then I just stuck magnets on the back and I thought that looked really cute. In my last setup vlog, I put up that second grade sign that's like a little baby pinata from Hobby Lobby and then I just cut out that paper to say second grade. I think it looks really cute. That H is for Holes, which is my last name and I got that from Michael's for 70% off as well. The basket was thrifted and then I thought it would look cute to just put some eucalyptus garland in there and then I think I'm gonna set up some books to display in there as well. And then as of right now, I just have my clipboards underneath. You know, I am not gonna get to my library today and that's okay, but I don't know if I wanna make that like a whole setup vlog or if I'll just have that be like a, I don't know, normal everyday like plan for school vlog. But I need to figure that out still. It has not been figured out yet. I did put my book bins on top though, which look really good. I think I have 22 or something like that on there right now. I could count them, but I'm not going to. And then whew, over here, the lights look really good. The baskets, you know, they could look better, but that's okay. And then calendar, basketball, all the fun stuff. And then you can see there's about a gazillion different boxes and stacks and all that fun stuff. Mom's working on a little project over there trying to fix one of my baskets. And then I did go through and I set out some display books, which I probably will have these ones displayed for the first day of school. And I just think that looks so happy and cute. And then we brought in my big rug. So we're gonna set that up today. I have a couple things that I'm gonna add to the fridge today to make it look a little bit more fridge-like. And then also in the back room, the biggest change has happened over here since I saw you last. It's still a mess, but it's a lot less of a mess. 
so I can actually like walk back here now which is pretty amazing okay for some reason it was like super dark I don't know why but hopefully you can see a little bit better now so I'm still gonna go through and like I need to add some new labels on things and better organize but that's not like something that has to be done for the first day of school it just would be really nice if it was so I'm not like too stressed about that and then I put up my little learning objective boards right here and then I'll put on a label right there pretty soon from the back room this is what the room's looking like there's mom <laughs> hi mom <laughs> so yes like i said still a mess but not a huge mess just like a well no it's a huge mess yeah it's a huge mess but it could be a bigger mess could be a smaller mess that's okay Okay, so now it is a couple of days later and I am back in my classroom. In my last couple of clips, it was starting to get kind of late and all of a sudden I blinked and it was 8 p.m. and we hadn't eaten dinner and so my mom and I went out to dinner and then after that I didn't end up coming back into my classroom so I didn't film anything. So, yes, it is a couple days later now. I am still not done with my classroom. I don't know when I will be done with my classroom. I feel like it is a never-ending work in progress, but it is what it is. So I'm going to walk you around and show you what the classroom is looking like right now and then just kind of point out some things I'm planning on doing today. But before I jump in, to today's clips. I wanted to share that this portion of the vlog is actually being sponsored by Nearpod, which I'm super excited about. Okay, so I wanna share with you one of my favorite features of Nearpod, which is their video capabilities. So they have a really awesome video library included on Nearpod. So you can see there's a ton of different options that are already on here, and you can find something that will fit basically any standard you're teaching, all the way from K through 12, which is awesome. So I used Nearpod in my fifth grade classroom a ton, and I'm really looking forward to using it in my second grade classroom as well. So a way that I might use it in second grade versus fifth grade is maybe telling time so that's a standard that I'll teach in second grade so I could click the video and then show the video to my students and I know it's gonna be high quality and I know that it's going to fit the standards that I'm teaching now my favorite part of this though is I can add in activities as we're watching the video these questions are a great way to formatively assess students as they're watching the video so I can make sure that they're A, paying attention, but B, that they're understanding the material that's being presented to them. So I can add in an open-ended question or I can add in a multiple choice question, just depending on what I think best fits the material. And that lets me quickly and easily formatively assess all of my students and hear from everyone. This is especially helpful for students that I might not hear from if we did a group discussion or even a turn-in talk it's hard for me to get around the room and hear from everyone. So this way I can see in real time how everyone is understanding the material, which is super helpful. So I love doing this for videos. You can choose a Nearpod video, but also if you have a video that you love using from YouTube, for example, you can just add it in from YouTube. You can also upload your own video. So I love, love, love this feature. It's one of my favorite Nearpod features, but honestly, Nearpod can do so many different things. So if you haven't played around with it, you need to do so. Check it out, go to their training. It will be linked in the description box below. Thank you again to Nearpod for sponsoring this portion of the vlog. Let's go ahead and jump back into it. Okay, so the other day my mom ended up putting this fabric on my door. It looks really good, but I still need to actually decorate it. So that is something I'm going to work on today. And then I hung this cute little bus and then I put the label how we get home at the top. And this little bus is like a photo cutout from Michaels. I think it was just like a few dollars 
Over here, I still need to finish the Wonder Wall. That kind of has been a paused project, so eventually I need to finish that. And then I have a bunch of books that I'm not gonna be using, and we are hiring for a first grade teacher right now. And so if it ends up being a new teacher or even a teacher who's like moving grades or whatever, then I wanted to offer that person some books because they're really great books. It's just I have a lot of books, as you know, and a lot of those were repeats. And then when you come in, I just had this delivered. I don't know exactly what this is refresher kit oh it's the positive action SDL curriculum okay so that makes sense then so I need to go through that and figure out where to store it at some point I need to organize my desk because it's looking a little messy I still want to put a label right here that says we are family so I haven't done that yet and then for now I put this little cart under here but I don't know if it actually will live there or not I haven't decided when my mom comes in on Thursday I think I'm gonna have her hang the alphabet for me so she's going to hang those alphabet cards which those are on my TPT if you're interested I have the letter and then I have the finger spelling in American Sign Language and then I have an item that begins with that letter so apple for a makes sense <laughs> and then i'm going to have my mom hang it right up here on my little bulletin board strip up there so that's where the alphabet is going to go part of me is debating redoing my vocabulary header right here i haven't 100 percent decided but i'm debating making it a little bit like smaller and writing out vocabulary I haven't really 100% decided if I'm doing that, but we will see. And then I ended up putting some greenery on the bookshelf right here, and I still need to kind of mess around with that. I want to get some bookends, so that way I can have my book standing up and not going all the way to the edge. I have a ton of book buddies right here. I actually might take some out because it's kind of like overflowing. And then I just have some random pillows on the ground right there. I haven't decided if those are going to stay there. I'm almost positive that I'm going to end up moving this and putting it away. It looks super cute, but I just realized it's not super functional. Like I was planning on displaying books here, but I don't really need to do that. I have so many other spots where I'm displaying books and this is kind of like prime real estate. So I think I'm gonna put a student desk here instead, like an extra desk. So yes, that's the plan. And then I will just like move this desk into the back room as extra. This is from my first and second year classroom, but I don't really have a spot for it. I wish I did, it's just like super big. We were thinking maybe we could hang it above the window, but it's too wide for above the window, so that won't work. So that's kind of a bummer. So maybe it will end up somewhere, I just like haven't really found a good spot for it yet. That pile right there is all stuff that needs to be donated, <laughs> so yes. It's like a bunch of um, just random stuff that was in old classrooms. So at some point, maybe today, I'll load that into my car. I ended up putting my book boxes on top of here. I can't remember if I showed you that or not, but I did end up printing labels for those as well. So I'd love to stick those on there. Maybe today, maybe Thursday, we'll see. And then I need to go through my library still. I probably will not do that in today's vlog because that's just like a ton of work and I'm not mentally prepared for it. I need to start thinking about where these bins are gonna go. And then back here is looking really good. So I have my flexible seating in here. My mom ended up bringing in pretty much everything from my storage unit. So my mom had helped me out and got a storage unit a couple years ago when, or last year, I guess, when I needed to store like my couch and that stuff. And so a lot of this stuff was in storage because I couldn't use it because we weren't allowed to like move around the room really. But it sounds like as of right now, we probably will be able to use it again this year. I don't know for sure, but I'm just gonna say probably. <laughs> so I have that out in buckets. These are from Big Lots and I love them. They fit so much stuff and then um, pretty much everything is from Amazon except for these little scoop rockers are from Big Lots. And then my couch is back and it looks great right here. I absolutely love it and like I said I don't know for sure that it will get to stay but I'm hoping that it will. And then I put out like my little bean bag. The fridge is looking so cute. A couple people had commented and given me the idea of spelling out the fridge with with like magnet letters, which obviously it's not really, it's just like paper that I cut out with my Cricut, but it looks so cute, I love it. And then I have the little Whirlpool logo, which some of you commented that, and then one of my coworkers actually gave me that idea as well. So I can't wait to hang student work right there. I think it's gonna look so cute. And then on these little bookshelves, I have nonfiction books, and then I think I'm going to make these like center materials but I haven't decided yet so they don't have any labels on them yet and then you can't really see but down there there's a couple of book boxes 
And then over here, same thing, nonfiction, nonfiction. That will be center work stuff. And then some book boxes. Here's my little student center going on over here. So just things that the kids would need to access. Obviously it's not like fully organized yet, but eventually I'll do that. And then I'm debating putting my affirmation station right here. So I would move that desk over to where the other desk is over there. Here's my mirror that I'll be using for the affirmation station. And then let's go in my back room. It's still kind of a disaster, but it's slowly getting better. Slowly, very slowly. <laughs> I just have so much stuff. Like I don't even know how I have this much stuff, but I do. So I have stuff on the ground in a couple spots so eventually I need to organize all of this as well and I might kind of downsize a little bit and get rid of some things too but we will see so when I first come out this is what the room is looking like and then I have a bunch of stuff cut out over here I need to put on my clock labels these are on my TPT these are on my TPT these are for the book boxes then I have some influential people posters that I need to hang up still and yeah just all the fun things so i'm thinking i want to put my influential people posters like all along the top trim of my room that's what i'm thinking right now but i haven't 100 percent decided so we will see but it is time to get to work so let's do this Okay, so I just went through and sorted my whiteboards. So these are hard whiteboards that on the back have place value charts. I've had these for a couple years. I bought them, I think, from really good stuff, I wanna say. I love these and I prefer to use these whenever possible, but I also do have these little like slip front ones and some of them got completely demolished. These ones were the ones that I could save, but we used them like all the time last year, like for anything, everything, all the time. And so, yeah, they just got like demolished. So I had to throw a bunch of those away, but I still have a bunch. And these colorful ones, we didn't use as much. And so those ones are pretty much fine and I've had these for like a couple years so they've lasted okay but like I said I prefer to use these whenever I can I just didn't have enough for a class set last year of these so I might just order some more I think I might have 20 though and right now I only have 17 kids on my class list which is like pretty amazing so I might just kind of like wait and see um, I need to count these up though because it doesn't look like I have 20 right here but I think I already put some in a cabinet and then this I worked on the other day I am not happy with how it turned out so it's fine but I drew this little guy on procreate and I was thinking if I printed him like a poster at home the colors would be more vibrant than if I like traced him on to chart paper or like drew him on chart paper and then colored him in with like markers or colored pencils or whatever which the colors look great whatever but when I cut him out it was really hard for me to get it like all lined up correctly and so when I did that I tried to just like tape the white spots that I was going to cut out anyways and it didn't work so I ended up having to put tape on like him <laughs> which is super noticeable but I don't know maybe from far away it will be okay I'm debating laminating all of him so then all of him is shiny but I don't know if that will make the tape just stand out more but this little guy is going to go on my door he's actually a pretty big guy there's my arm so he's pretty big but yeah he's gonna go on my door because I think I explained in a previous vlog clip we are doing door themes of the Peter H Reynolds BU books which I have back here so this is our school theme this year is BU and at my school we decorate our door every year based on our theme so I thought he kind of looked like one of the little BU characters and then we're all saying B and then whatever so mine is be curious like ask questions and so he has a question mark on his shirt because he is curious he's asking questions and then I think I'm gonna draw a little like speech bubble or not speech bubbles we call it thought bubbles above him so then he looks like he is thinking and asking questions so anyways I don't know I haven't quite figured that out yet but eventually he's gonna go on the door Okay, so I just made a whole lot more work for myself than I really needed to, but that is a-okay. I just moved all of these dictionaries from my back room out here. If I sound out of breath, it's because I am out of breath. 
<laughs> but anyways, now I think I'm gonna move these again because I kinda wanna put four more of these small little milk crate bins because then I can fit some more of my quick reads, which I have a bunch of those in the back room right now. And I was bummed that I wasn't gonna be able to have them all out, which I still won't be able to have them all out, but I can have more than I have right now. So most of my elephant and piggy ones are out already and some other fiction ones. And then I'm thinking maybe I'll put all nonfiction on the bottom, but it's looking pretty good. This is one section over here. And then my little house bookshelf has a bunch of books as well. Okay, so I ended up moving this all around about a gazillion times, but I think I'm happy with how it's looking. I just need to add labels to the bottom ones, obviously. And I tried to leave a little bit of space because I do still have some more books that I need to label and get on here, but I think it looks pretty good. And I like that now I have a lot of those quick reads out for the kids to access. So those are all down there. And then these labels are from my friend Molly Malloy. She is amazing. She has Lessons with Laughter on Instagram. You probably have seen her page she's awesome and she's like the sweetest human too so I love her so I will link these labels in the description box below I love them and I organize them by author's last name just like the kids would see in like a library or a bookstore so I love doing that and then on top I have these bins with a bunch of books I love National Geographic books I buy like pretty much every single one I see so I have a ton of National Geographic books so I tried to organize all of those up here so I have all of the like quick reads or like leveled readers and I organize them by pre-emergent or like pre-reader and then the level one right here and then I have level two and level three it was just the easiest way for me to organize them so that's how I did it and then over here I have a bunch of joke books a few of my kids last year loved joke books and same thing for the previous years as well and so I just collect these when I see them at thrift stores and they are a ton of fun so I put those all up here and then also I just have some random like a riddle book and then a learning Spanish book and yeah so I love how this section is looking it's very colorful and bright once I get all the books on there. And then, I think I showed you this already, but over here, this is how this bookshelf is looking. And I do think this is probably gonna change still, especially like the little book buddies in the window. They're a little bit too big, <laughs> so that doesn't quite work. But that's okay, it works for now at least. And then I did add another strand of greenery up at the top just to make it look a little bit more full. So I think that looks cute and just like adds a nice little pop of color. So I had that light brown desk over here, but I swapped it out for one of the desks that are like the rest of the desks that I have. And I, for right now, I have the lighter brown desk in the hallway, but I might move it back in we'll see but this way I can have a student work over here and then I took down the little like treasure chest bin thing it's over there so I took down that little bin and I think I might try to sell it on Facebook marketplace or I'll just give it away no big deal but I don't think I'm gonna hold on to it because it is kind of big and I just like don't really have a spot for it so that's fine and then also I need to go laminate these things so that way I can work on my door so that is next on the agenda and then one other thing I want to show you but hold on let me flip it over so you're not seeing names I also spent a couple hours filling out these envelopes. So on the front, I wrote my student's name and address. And then on the inside, I have letters that just say like meet the teacher and blah, blah, blah. There is some personal information on there. Otherwise, I would share it with you. But I spent a couple hours doing that. It took me a really, really long time. But I think they turned out really cute. And I'm excited for my students to see them. I still have a bunch of stuff going on over here. It is just a big hot mess express, but it is getting closer. And then I haven't decided still where I wanna put my influential people posters. Part of me wants to put them right there. Another part of me wants to put them on the windows. And then the original part of me <laughs> wanted to put them all along the trim. So I still have not 100% decided. So if push comes to shove, I can leave that for another day. And that way you could tell me in the comments below where I should put them. But I don't know, I just haven't decided. And honestly, even once I put them up, I could always move them too. That's not like a hard thing to do. So I might do that at some point. And then I'm kind of bummed because I bought this like big, huge mirror at a thrift store. I was really excited about it. and then I couldn't find a good spot for it to go. So instead, I'm thinking I'm going to use this smaller mirror that I used last year that has like the cute little vinyl on it. And I'm thinking I'm gonna put it on this door right here and then make this my affirmation station. But I was a little worried trying to put that on the door. So I just went out to Target and I bought some command strips. So hopefully those will hold. So I'm probably gonna mess with that pretty soon so I can get that all nice and set up because that has been on my list for a while. And then I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Oh, I had the little goal 
board over there. So I ended up moving those up here. So these are going to be my learning goals. So I have reading, writing, and then I have math and science and social studies. So I will teach all subject areas. So I have those up here. And it, I know it's kind of silly because this is actually a whiteboard technically behind there, but it's like off white if you saw my earlier setup vlogs. So it's fine, it is what it is. <laughs> but that's how it's looking right now. And there is still work to be done. So I need to get to work. Let's do this. Okay, so this is how the door turned out. I think it looks really cute. I was very worried about this little guy, but I think from far away, he looks really, really cute. And even close up, you can't really see the tape. Like, I mean, if you're looking for it, you can. Like, I see a piece right there. But it's not as bad as I thought it would be. So, yay for that. That was like a lot more work <laughs> than I thought it would be, but that's okay. And then I just have the little thought bubbles going up. And then my idea is that I will have some post-it notes on here from my students of different things that they're wondering. They could be things like from our wonder wall or just like whatever. And then it says, be curious at the top. And I tried to make it kind of like random and cute, like kid-like. I don't know, not the handwriting, but just like the order of the angles and stuff. So anyways, I think it turned out really cute. And now I have another thing checked off my list. So that is exciting. Now I think I'm gonna work on putting my affirmations up on my affirmation station. So I have all of these affirmations. These are on my TPT if you are interested. I have them in English and in Spanish. And yes, I'm excited about these. So I'm just gonna tape them on the door I think and hope that that holds up. <laughs> starting to lose steam and I'm very hungry so it is time for me to go home and call it a day but honestly I feel like I got so much done today I did just make a huge to-do list of things that I still need to do which is just typical I feel like that always happens but I'm pretty sure every single thing that I need to do before school starts is on my to-do list now which I could not have said before today because there was just so much to do so I got a lot done the room is looking really really good I don't think I'm gonna come in at all tomorrow I have plans with actually some co-workers we're gonna go to the beach for the day and so I don't think I'm gonna be in at all so yes this will be just how the room is and then I'm coming back in later this week and my mom said that she will come in as well and meet me here and then I have some jobs for her to do as well so I'm just like looking around I'm like oh my gosh I got a lot done I feel good about it so I'm gonna pull you off the tripod really quick and walk you around and let's look at how the room is looking right now and then it looks like there will be one more setup vlog after this and then I'll get into back to school prep type vlogs and do an open house vlog when that happens and first week of school vlog and all those fun things so let me go ahead and pull you off the tripod and let's go look at the classroom 
Okay, so one of my biggest projects was my door, which obviously you already saw, but I love how it turned out. I think it's super cute and I think the kids will like it as well. And then on the window by my door, I hung these posters from the designer teacher on TPT. Of course, I will link them below. I absolutely love them. I think they're so stinking cute. And then I have my little How We Get Home bus over there. Of course, I have still not finished my Wonder Wall. I feel like this is gonna be like the very last thing that I end up doing. It's kind of one of those like out of sight, out of mind type things because I don't see it when I'm like looking at the rest of the room because it's kind of like tucked over here in this little cubby but I promise eventually I will do that <laughs> and then I ended up putting this little desk right here and it has like all of my Cricut stuff on it and then eventually I'll move my Cricut onto the top of it I think and that way I have it easily accessible this might end up moving to my back room but I haven't really decided yet we will see over here I still need to add in my little label right here that says we are family because I'm gonna end up hanging pictures right there, but I have not done that yet. This space changed a lot today and I think I'm liking how it's looking. And then down here, I went ahead and put a couple little cards and I think that these will house all of my center materials for my students, but I have not decided how I'm running centers yet. I have a lot of ideas, so I need to narrow it down. So if you are a K through two teacher and you want to share how you run your stations below whether it's ELA stations or math stations, I will be teaching both. So I would love to know if you're willing to comment that, that would be super, super helpful. Then I have my huge to-do list, <laughs> like absolutely massive. But like I said, this is pretty much like every single thing that needs to be done before the school year starts. So I feel pretty good about that. And then all of the things that I put blue stars by, those are things that I probably will ask for my mom's help with because those are just things that I know she would be really good at. She would actually be really good at everything, but I don't want to make her do everything. That would not make sense. So yes, I just have a ton of stuff on there, but like I said, at least it's, you know, in one list now. And then with the question marks, I just like need to think about those things a little bit more. So I'm going to take a picture of my list before I leave in just a minute. And then I'm going to think about those things that I have question marks on because those are things that I still have not decided on. Over here, I think I decided I'm gonna take out some of these stuffed animals. They are just too much, it's overflowing, but I have not done that yet. I think I'm gonna take out like half of them because I really don't want them to go over like that. I just think that looks really messy and I do not like it. But this space does look super cute, I love it. I can't remember if I showed you when I was putting up these little book characters, but I printed these out and then I laminated them earlier and I just stuck them around my bookshelf and I stuck them like coming out of the windows and I think it looks so cute. And then I added on more labels on most of the books but I ran out of a couple of letters. So if you see any that don't have labels on them, that's why I think I ran out of M's and P's, I'm pretty sure. And then I just put some pillows down there for my old classroom, the greenery, all that fun stuff. I'm thinking right here, I kinda wanna do like a star student board and have like a star student each week and it will rotate between like all of my students and then they can share something about themselves and we could just, I don't know, kinda build a classroom community so that's why I made some space right there. I think that's what I'm going to do there. And here I have my alphabet and some influential people posters that still need to go up, but that has not happened yet. And then also I bought these lights. These are like curtain lights. I got these off of Amazon and I'm gonna ask my mom to hang these behind the bookshelf, I believe. I think I already showed this like a couple of times. I ended up having to move out one of the bins to make some more room for the chapter books but that is okay and then I didn't want to like stuff them in case I get more books so yes that's what's going on over there and then I added in my number labels these are on my TPT if you're interested and right now I am hoping that I have 20 or less kids I only have 17 on my class list but we know how that goes there probably will be a bunch more who sign up right before school starts and just some shifting but I have 20 so far and then I can always print more if I need to and I have 21 book boxes along the wall. So part of me wants to print a 21st label just so that one has a label as well. Also, super weird. I opened up a pack of these Target little adhesive pockets. These are from the dollar spot. You can get them for $3 and I love them. But this pack was super weird. If you can, I think you can probably tell on camera. It's like super wrinkly for some reason. So I'm not really sure why that is. So if I walk over here, sorry if this makes you dizzy. This was from one pack. These are like all smooth and nice for one and two. And then I opened up a new pack and you can tell on these ones, 
it's like super wrinkly. So I'm not really sure why that is or how I would fix that, but oh well. And then I still need to print library labels and just kind of condense my library a little bit more, but that will be next time I'm in probably, or even next week, honestly. That doesn't need to be done like right this moment. So not super worried about that, but yes, that's how it's looking right now. Again, I do not want to have these bins quite so full when the students get here. So I need to go through those a little bit, but it hasn't happened yet. Over here, I still don't have anything on this board, but I'm planning on it being a sound wall, which means I'll probably just end up putting a title on it and then building to the sound or like building the sound wall together with my students because I don't want to just like have it all up on there because then I feel like it would be very overwhelming and we wouldn't really know how to utilize it. So yes, I'm probably just gonna put a label on there and then I did end up purchasing a sound wall resource, but I haven't like gone through it all the way yet. So if I end up using that one, then I will share it with you when I like start using it, if that makes sense. Nothing too different over here. This stuff is all the same, I think. I did print out this 120 chart and I think I'm gonna print out some mini ones as well. This is from TPT, I will link it below. I think it was like $2 or less and I really liked it because it went all the way up to 120 because a lot of them just go up to 100. So I really liked that. I changed my calendar a couple videos ago so it only went through the 30th because I accidentally had through the 31st for a while and it was driving some people bonkers. So it's just through the 30th now. And then here's this area over here. My camera doesn't know where to focus. Okay, lots of changes over in this area as well. Um, also, I have some laminated paper down there that I need to cut out, but I'm just gonna leave that for now, I think. I might put the scissors away though in case anybody comes in here so they don't get hurt. That would be no good. But over here, I honestly can't remember what I've shown you and what I haven't. This is like one of my favorite things in my classroom. Like, come on, so cute, so cute. Like, look at that. It's adorable. So thank you to all of you who gave me the idea of doing that, I love it. This is my little affirmation station with posters from the designer teacher and then affirmations from my TPT. So I will link those below and I love how it turned out. And then these clock labels are from my TPT as well and I put those up. And then I have my little student center over here. It is still kind of a work in progress. I might change this around a little bit still. And then I just have my little step ladder out here and yeah i think that's basically it let me do like a quick pan of the room so you can see everything in action also i got this new tripod recently my friend maddie from primarily yours recommended it i think i talked about that in a vlog previously but i absolutely love it it's amazing so shout out to maddie she's the best but i'm really loving how it's looking i still have some work to do as i said but a lot of work has been done many many hours of work <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that is all for today's vlog. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please take a moment to give this vlog a thumbs up. Also take a moment to subscribe and leave a comment below giving me all the ideas, letting me know what you do for your centers, letting me know how your school year is going so far, if you've started it, and just all the fun things as we are winding up this classroom setup season. I absolutely love doing these videos. It always makes me a little bit sad when they are almost finished. But like I said, I will have one more after this. So stay tuned for that. Thank you again to Nearpod for sponsoring this vlog. I always love working with them. They are amazing. And if you haven't already, definitely go check the link in the description box for the free training so that you can check out Nearpod and see how you can utilize it in your classroom. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next vlog. Bye.